What's up guys, my name is Dean aka The Blue Crusader and welcome back to the channel. In this video I'm going to be showing you how you can summon and defeat the Old Ones army in Terraria. This is basically a crossover event along with Dungeon Defenders 2 which is in the game that you can initiate by placing down an Eternia Crystal on the Eternia Crystal stand in the game to summon waves of enemies which spawn from corresponding portals from both sides of the crystal. Basically the whole point of the event is these summon minions will try to destroy the crystal and you need to defend it. The whole objective is just to protect it until you can clear all of the waves or until the crystal is destroyed and the event is automatically ended. Basically, to obtain the Eternia Crystal and the Eternia Crystal Stand, you're going to need the NPC in your housing unit to actually buy them from. This NPC is none other than the Tavern Keep, which is an NPC in the game that exchanges Defender Medals as currency for most of its items instead of using coins. Basically, the player has to defeat the Each of Worlds or Brain of Cthulhu to gain access to this NPC, and then he'll appear as an unconscious man which spawns in one layer of the world, which you'll need to find just like all the other tied up NPCs in the game. It's basically a random NPC find that you'll need to play a lot until you stumble upon him and he's basically face flat on the floor tied up and you'll find him somewhere in a cave or random area of your world. After buying the crystal and then the crystal stand, you have to put it in an area with enough space and then place the crystal on it to initiate the event. Basically, the different versions of this fight will increase in difficulty depending when you actually do it. So if you defeat the Brain of Cthulhu or the Eater of Worlds, this will be the first tier of difficulty, but if you defeat any mechanical boss, it will also increase in difficulty too, and then when you defeat the Golem, it will increase to a third tier of difficulty, so it depends when you want to do this event as to how hard it will be. Basically clearing a lot of the later waves in this event will give you the defender medals which you can use as currency at the tavern keep to get awesome armor and weapons. This event has a set number of waves which become more difficult and at the end of each wave you'll have 30 seconds until the next one which you can use to apply buffs or heal or prepare for. So there's three different tiers in the game which become more difficult and these depend on what your game progression is when you summon the event which I touched on before. But each of those three different difficulty tiers have different enemies to them. So the first tier only has five waves with one or more dark mages which are the mini bosses in the final wave. Basically, tier 1 is triggered when you defeat the Brain of Cthulhu or Eater of Worlds before any mechanical bosses are slain. Tier 2 difficulty has 7 waves with 1 or multiple ogres which serve as mini bosses in the final wave and the dark mages will not even appear in this mode. Now the third one is where it gets super tough and that's the one which I've done on this video which will have 7 total waves and the boss Betsy which is a spawning dragon will be the final boss in the final wave which gets really hard. There's also a dark mage and ogre which will spawn during the 3 previous waves too. This tier 3 of difficulty is the one which is after you defeat the golem and this is a super hard one. Basically to complete this you need to defeat the giant dragon Betsy and then you can complete the tier. I'd recommend just doing the Old Ones Army event at the end of the game because it's just like Duke Fishron where you don't actually need to do it to complete any game progression. The only positive of doing it is just to get the medallions to buy things from the vendor and also get the achievement for defeating the Old Ones Army. This is why personally I'd recommend saving this event till the end of the game post Moon Lord because there's a drop from Moon Lord which is the best sword in the game called Zenith which I'd recommend using during this fight. If you use Zenith it's some summons multiple swords which surround the player and then attack mobs in an area of effect at the same time in a flurry of different swords. I'd recommend using this sword and just powering through every different wave of the Old Ones army and it just makes it super easy and a breeze to complete. You really don't need to do this event early in the game unless you want a challenge so I'd save it till the end until you get Zenith and a decent level of tier gear which you can then use for defense. 
This is possibly the easiest noob foolproof way of defeating the old one's army and getting the achievement fairly quickly. This is because to defend the mobs coming from both sides is pretty hard unless you have a weapon which can attack multiple enemies at once. And I'd recommend either using the solar eruption, which I'm using in this video, which you can craft from the solar fragments which drop from the solar pillar during the celestial pillars boss fight, which I also have a video on which I will link in this video now so you can check that out, or use the zenith sword from the moon lord. So that's my guide on how to defeat the old one's army in Terraria and get the achievement and complete the event depending on which tier you are in the game. Obviously if you defeat this event during an earlier mode in hard mode or pre hard mode it'll be fairly easy and not difficult like the third tier. If you enjoyed this Terraria video make sure to like the video and drop a comment below if you have any other tips and tricks which I didn't feature in the video. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.